Hiya guys, as I said yesterday, I'm going to make a cherry bakewell loaf. So I've got a little loaf tin, one of these, loaf tin liner, that's what you need. You can spray it with the um, cake release spray or butter it to stop it sticking, but I like to use those. Um, as I said yesterday, I've already washed and dried my cherries, so I've got a hundred, I want a hundred and fifty. That's about right. 150 glassy cherries, cut in half, washed and dried. And I'm gonna put some flour in them. Cover them in flour. Don't matter whether it's plain flour or self-raising flour. This is supposed to stop them from all dropping to the bottom of the cake. Now sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But if they do all sink to the bottom of the cake, it's not the end of the world because the cake still tastes delicious. There we go. So for this Madeira cake. I want 175 grams of Perfect for Cakes, which is what I use. Perfect for Cakes, because that's what it is. Right, I want 175 grams of butter, margarine, or as in my case, Perfect for Cakes from Aldi. And I believe Lidl have it as well. And this cake is a Madeira cake, so it's going to have a bit more flour in than a usual than a light sponge cake. 175 perfect for cakes and can I just say thank you to everybody that sent the lovely comments regarding my mum and asking how she is she's not too bad this morning she had a bit of a bad night coughing and what, what have you so she didn't sleep great but she feels a bit better this morning she's gonna try and get up out of bed today she feels like it and you want 175 grams of caster sugar everything into your mixing bowl apart from your cherries don't put your cherries in and you want 220 grams of self-raising flour Yeah, so she's feeling a lot brighter this morning. Well, she's not wet, but she's uh, she's getting there. Thank you for all your nice comments. I'll show her later. I don't think she's seen them all because she was too cool yesterday. You also need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. and three large eggs. So 
So in here, we've got 175 grams of Perfect for Cakes, Margarine, Stork, Butter, whatever you choose. Um, 175 grams of caster sugar, 220 grams of self-raising flour, a teaspoon of baking powder and three large eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You've got your cherries that have been tossed in flour waiting over there patiently. Just mix all this together and stop as soon as it's combined. Stop your mixer. Right guys, that's all your ingredients mixed and I stopped my mixer just when they were all combined so that I don't add any more uh, to it. Now then, I'm going to take your cherries that have been steeped in flour, pop those in and we're just going to fold those in. That's all they need. No more mixing. Just fold them through and hopefully, fingers crossed, they won't sink to the bottom. But if they do, like I say, it still tastes nice. Don't worry about it. Just pop your mixture into your loaf tin, like so. just before 45 minutes and if it's starting to go too brown on top but it's uh, it still needs a bit longer for the middle I'm going to place a piece of either greaseproof paper baking paper over the top or a piece of foil if I think the top's done enough but the inside's still not done enough just pop some foil on top and finish it off with another you know few minutes and then Always check with a cocktail stick or a skewer, a wooden skewer. Pop it in the middle and if it comes out wet with wet stuck to it, it needs a few more minutes. If it comes out dry, it's ready. Right, there we go guys, that's going in the oven now for 45 minutes. 